Yeah, people take offence. Why do they take offence? Oh, because they want to be offended. That's what I reckon it is. They claim you're offending them by questioning their beliefs. Their deeply held beliefs. You're questioning the, well, the historical value or idea of the Prophet Muhammad and what he spoke or was alleged to have spoken. Yes. So therefore, you've just offended a billion people. Or you offended New Ages by questioning their belief. We offended Christians. Yeah, Christians get offended, don't they? Yeah, you, you make a video saying that you don't think there's any real historical evidence for Jesus. And certainly not the religious version of Jesus. And they get all offended. And why? Because you're questioning their deeply held belief. Well, this is the thing. They get offended as if you've attacked them in their most personal inner sanctum. And really, all you've done is question their belief. Some people go really too far, and that's obviously historically evident. Uh, I don't need to go over certain elements with Islam, for example. But a Hindu, even. A Hindu YouTube channel. A couple of years ago, it stuck in my head. Basically commented a whole bunch of times on some of my old videos. And basically said, I'm trying to destroy his culture. As if your entire culture, well for one, how am I attacking your culture? I'm questioning your religion. And two, uh, how come your culture is just your religion? Doesn't that say everything about your religion? That it's basically owning your culture? I mean, Christians do that. Okay, an Indian guy comes over to the UK or America and converts to born-again Christianity. And all of a sudden, what a coincidence, he's wearing, you know, black trousers and white shirts, done up at the neck, usually. And then he's on the street with his Bible, you know. It's the thing with them. You know, so they can go around like that and they can be, you know, a good little Christian, but... They can't really wear the whole Indian garb because apparently that's not kosher, that's not fitting in, that's not conforming. And that's what religion does, it teaches you to conform. Wear what you want, it's up to you. You know, burn incense if you're uh, you know, into Hinduism or other Eastern mystical beliefs, yeah, go for it. And even if you leave those beliefs, you can still burn incense. Does it matter? No, of course not. I mean, there's more to that to a culture, obviously, and there's more to culture than religion. And this is a problem that people can't seem to really understand. And even in the Western developed world, with supposedly progressed and moderate individuals, with the Church of England and other moderate Western beliefs, they still seem to think you need religion in order to have cultural appreciation. And religion is the foundation of culture. When really it's not, it's a aspect of it and we should not be ignorant of religion or philosophies contained uh, therein but we can't really accept this idea that they have the monopoly and of course even then they would say if you're questioning their belief and this is a really uncultured thing they do if you're questioning their belief you're attacking me personally you're attacking the believers personally by questioning their deeply held beliefs all beliefs, and I do mean all, should be up for question. Mine, yours, anyone's. Yeah, go for it. Question the beliefs. Question the ideas out there, because that's the important thing about culture and cultural development. The idea of the discussion. Discussing ideas and coming to different opinions. Sharing thoughts considering ideas and I think that discussion is far more important than sparing your feelings. <laughs>